New on Rising, we've told you about New Era Wrestling and all the events they do to benefit local causes. And you may remember Dominic coming in and telling us about a young man in need of a kidney transplant. Well, since that interview aired, Jimmy is now on a waiting list. And this is Jimmy, Jimmy Sirago, that is. And he's here to tell us a little bit more about what's next for him. And good to see you here in Thank person, you. Good Jimmy. To be Thank here. you good so to be much here. for coming in. Thanks. We've seen Dominic coming in many times, and he's mentioned you and how your family has been um, so grateful and just in so much wanting to get the word out about you. So it's good to have you here. Tell us a little bit about this. When we last talked with Dominic, you needed a kidney. Yes. You've got a phone call since then. So where does this stand right now? Well, right now I'm actually on the way waiting list and actually my older brother's going through getting tested because he has the same blood type which is mm -hmm. important because you have to have the same blood type to mm -hmm. actually start the testing and he's going through you know getting all the scans done it's it's a very tedious process and you know they told me that the minimum on the waiting list could be two years so there's always a, a living donor instead of you know having to have a, a right. someone else that uh, is not here with us anymore yeah. donate but it's, it's a tough process. Well, you were telling me in the break a little bit about why Florida is one of the better states, I guess if you could put it that way, yeah. um, to be in need of such a thing because of um, motorcycle. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, you know, a lot of people do ride motorcycles. You know, accidents right. do happen. And uh, it, being that it's a bad side, they're also a good side. You know, mm -hmm. you got to look at the, the better things yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, now you're only 20 years old, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your health and, and what happened and why you are in need of a kidney transplant. Uh, well, I'm, I actually got diagnosed with lupus when I was nine. One of the side effects is uh, you can have a, a kidney failure, which I wasn't too sure of. You know, younger, you don't really know about that stuff. Yeah. But when they told me you're going to be on dialysis, you know, I found out when I was uh, 19, actually. So I've been on about a year. Uh, when I was 19, you know, you're going to start dialysis, and it, w it happened so fast, you know, the, they put the catheter in, mm -hmm. and they said, you know, here's your dialysis. They taught me how to do it. I went through extensive, oh, wow. extensive training, you know. It was difficult, and now I do it every day. You know, I have yeah. a little one here that I do every day on my own, you know. I'm very, mm -hmm. I'm very on top of it. If you're not on top of it, you can get really yeah. sick. You know, even if you miss one time, you know, it can, it can be bad. Right. But. That's tough. Well, I know you have a couple of different missions that yeah. you're out there. You mm -hmm. brought these T-shirts in. Explain yep. the T-shirt you're wearing, and I'll hold it up for the camera here, too, well, so our viewers at home can well, see Well, uh, you know, I've been a fighter ever since. You know, I was a little kid, being sick, going through everything, and we uh, we, we made these T-shirts. Uh, Join the fight, help Jimmy get off dialysis. You know, it's just another step in mm -hmm. the going in the right direction. You know, yeah. at one time I was going to school, working two jobs. I'm back to two jobs, but the school's still still on hold. Mm -hmm. Don't want to get into that, and you know, have to have to stop. Mm -hmm. but, and this is your page right here too. There's yeah, a Facebook mm -hmm. page where you can learn a little bit more about Jimmy. I know a three minute interview is not going to do it any justice as yeah. you've got <laughs> a lot of to tell. Um, and it's, um, what's the address there? GoFundMe, right? GoFundMe, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a free website that I, that I looked into. You know, it, it does give some of the money to other donations as well. You know, a certain percentage of that, which, which I thought was great. So it's it's a great way, you yeah. know, to give to other people as well as to to a good cause. So. Now, Jimmy, you wanted to be a ref, right? With yes. Your wrestling. Yes. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit about that too. Well, well, you, well, you know, you you actually have to do some wrestling training as well to to be able to, you mm -hmm. know, actually take the bumps, which are like when you fall down and stuff like that as well. Mm -hmm. And one, of, and my dream is actually to become a wrestler. So, so the guys that knew wrestling, you know, they take me under their wing. Even though I'm still sick, they mm -hmm. teach me so much. You know, just cool. watching everything it cool. helps out. So. Well, you look fabulous and holding yourself you. very well this Thank morning. You. I really appreciate you being here. Oh no problem. Thank and you. We'll so be much. following your story and be looking for you uh, right, to come you. back again, okay? Thanks.